Listen, it's uh, it's full on fall, heading into winter, and this is the time that we typically start doing our fence work because in the summer we're just too busy, frankly. And we still have a lot of land that's in woods, and in the winter it's just safer to be in the woods for a lot of different reasons. Animals, one. Uh, the second one is also poison ivy, which Joe is highly allergic to. <laughs> if he gets within 20 feet of the woods and the wind's blowing his way, he'll get it. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. So now everything's going dormant, but we're starting up top here, up in front of the house, where it's all nice and uh, nice and smooth. It's uh, there's there's nothing really except grass up here and trees. What we're putting up is a one gate entrance, high tensile fence. So it's a and so what that means is uh, we're gonna use smooth wire and put electricity on it because that keeps the coyotes and other predators out. Uh, and we've got a lot of them. Uh, there are even mountain lions in our area now. Black bear have come back. Thank panthers. you. Thank you, government of Texas. Black panthers. Uh, yeah, black panthers, whatever. And, and so uh, now that doesn't stop them from getting in, but it does stop the coyotes from getting in. The electricity, it stops the possums and the coons. All of those are extremely deadly to uh, small animals, chickens, and these sorts of things. Uh, besides bringing in tons of disease, it'll stop foxes, that sort of thing, which we have a lot of trouble with around here. So uh, we put up a high tensile fence, which is just a psychological barrier, really, to uh, for the most part, to, to cows and goats. But it does pop pretty good, and uh, we usually put up one that pops about four joules. So it, it makes it feel pretty good. Uh, make, <laughs> I say makes them feel pretty good. They feel it pretty good when it, when it comes on. And we've all been popped, <laughs> so we know. Joe is taking a, a post and putting it on this side. Now we're going to put a brace across here. It'll come across just like this. And the brace, uh, because what's going to happen is, is when, when the fence comes down through here, there are going to be hooks that screw into this post right here. And that high tensile wire is going to come through those posts. And we'll put them at different measurements, which I'll, which I'll show you. It's ones we use all the time around here. It, they work well for us, but you can put them at different levels for different animals. We set them all to goat because that's what we have. So that means the two bottom wires pop and they're pretty low. And But it, it keeps cows in as well. And, and, my, and my livestock guardian dogs, which also are my second part to not just electricity to protect my animals, but also livestock guardian dogs, Pyrenees, and uh, Pyrenees, and what else, Joe? Anatolian Shepherd. Anatolian Shepherd mix. And so anyway, there'll be five strands coming off of here, and, uh, and this will push back this way because this is not a corner, it's just a curve. You can dig these in sideways and come down like this at an angle, but to me that's really hard to dig sideways, so I just put them in and run a brace across here, and then when the fence pulls this way with the tensile tension, uh, this post will keep this one straight. That's really what we're doing right now, and Joe's got a, he's filling in a little sand, he tamps it down, I'll show you a little closer what he's doing. Joe is working with uh, a commercial grade post hole digger, and by that I mean uh, it's got two metal poles along with the metal uh, scoop on it. We're going down a couple of feet every time, and then we're just uh, using a stick to, to tamp it down. We really don't have much trouble digging, because... <laughs> Uh, frankly, we've got about five feet of sand up here on this hill. This is rock clay. <laughs> rock clay. Yeah, no, that's that's pure sand, and it's uh, it goes down about five feet. And so uh, up here on the hill, we can grow good grass, and uh, we also can grow good trees. And we've also, that little tree you see between me and the golf cart is a pecan tree. And that's kind of what we have up here on the hill. We have about uh, four pecan trees, along with hickory and oak, which you can see. And what we're building here is a high tensile fence to take in a couple of acres. All right, he's putting a level on it. And we only try to level two sides, because typically uh, these posts are only going to level on one or two sides, even if they <laughs> really ultimately level on that. Some of them are pretty curved. And so we usually try to find the sides that we want to be on the facing, and, and that's really all we do. That's just a choice. That's not anything that's going to ultimately change the way the fence works. But 
you can see he's made the hole a lot larger than the post and as you make it you put a little dirt in and uh, then you tamp it down now again uh, we have sand and when we get to winter fall winter we start getting rain so that makes a big difference for us in digging in sand if you try to do this in July or August it's like digging in concrete and that, that's really true uh, I mean it, it's just hard hard digging but in the in the fall like this when we come and put these fences in we can do a post literally in less than 10 minutes uh, from start to finish and that's John and 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 everything else so uh, that's what he's doing he's just about got this one done and uh, a lot of people use a steel stick we just use a wood stick if you've got hard soil hard clay you're going to want something more of a solid piece of steel to, to really drive it down on there. So this is a little different view here. That's nice, ain't it? Old boy makes those and gives them away free. That right there is truth. That's good stuff. All right. Here's a little different view. I think you can see the rope pretty good. Running all the way down. And that's just really so we'll, uh, when we come around with the, uh, when we come around the corners uh, and we run our wire, we'll, the wire is straighter on here because I'm going to do a different corner this time. I'm actually going to use some, some, some type of disc, some plastic knot or acrylic discs and it'll be a neat, neat try for me. It's something different. I'm, I'm trying that just because. I, when I put the when I put black plastic around the electrical wire here, it's kind of an acrylic tube. What I'm having is is that eventually it cuts through the tube on the back side of this post, and then rain gets in and the fences are starting to pop after about five years that I've had them up. So I'm trying something different here, uh, just to keep my fences from shorting out, and hopefully it'll create less maintenance for the future. And that's, that's just choice again, too. And that's just something that, that uh, I'm trying out. So I'm going to go down there and join Joseph, and we're going to get to a little work. He's, uh, he's already on the second post. You can see the, the one right there. That he, yeah, you can see the one he's done. That's right there. And then he's just beyond that working on the second one. Good stuff. Fence work. This is fun.